industry, mm -hmm. you understand where the industry is headed, and you understand that there's roadblocks ahead. And you say to yourself, okay, what do I want to do? Do I unwind? Do I wind down? Do I fight it? Um, or do I try other things? And let's figure out what other business opportunities I can carry forward the business in. And a lot of people at that time, Jeff, really kind of stuck their head in the sand. They were resentful, they were angry, and they fought it. And they said, this is, what I, you know, this is the business I'm in, I'm going to fight it. So what's fascinating to me is you found a way, you know, we do a lot in technology here, obviously, and a lot of what, we're, what, what happens is you're basically innovating another business and you're finding a hole and you're trying to fill that hole. And what you did was you took a negative opportunity for an industry and found a position where a business could thrive. And as I think about that, Talk to us a little bit about how, what, what it takes from a mindset point of view to be that opportunistic in your thinking. I mean, what, how do you free your mind? How do you free your thinking to say, okay, wait a minute, let's keep looking, let's, and then let's try, because I'm sure you tried other things that didn't work. Sure, I, well, as I told you, I, I was looking in a different direction. You know, selfishly, I was looking for another job because I, I knew that, that this manufacturing piece wasn't for me and that it was headed, it right. was headed south. So, at the time, I, you know, in my mid-20s, I said, you know what, let's just take this chance. Let's go for it. And let's do the proper research. Let's find out what's out there. I really didn't know that this service business would sustain itself for, let's call it 20 years now, or just about 18 to 20 years, that, that, that it, we would be where we are today, servicing retailers and manufacturers with the problems that come in.